Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and on your screen you see the Zenit the D521 Ultra Blue. Subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Fasten your seatbelt for something new. We offer you the chance to win a priceless experience. New subscribers with an activated notification can win a watch manufacturer trip to Switzerland. Together with our partner from Tobel, we give away 10 all-inclusive trips worth a total of 50,000 Swiss francs. More details on watchadvisor.com. Furthermore, register there to double your chances to win. See you soon in Switzerland. This is under all aspects a very, very beautiful and spectacular chronograph. First of all, blue, lots of blue. You have some parts of the movement plates being made in blue. You have a wonderful blue rubber strap, a matching sandblasted gray titanium case. Wow, beautiful. And what you see on uh, your screen is uh, not that we are animating the video artificially to run quicker. No, 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 no. This is really the speed of the central hand you're seeing. The central hand is swiping over the dial and makes one full rotation in one second. So this means that this chronograph is indicating you the one hundred of a second. Yes, that's the Zenit. Um, combination of two escapements in one movement. You have a basic escapement. You can see the balance wheel here that will provide the hacking of the delivered energy uh, for the running second. So this is a 5 hertz, 36,000 semi oscillations. And for the uh, central second hand that swipes over the dial in the speed of one second, so one second, one entire rotation, we have uh, 360,000 semi oscillations per hour or 55 hertz. Um, this is all being put together in a case that has a diameter of 44 millimeters, a thickness of 15.2 millimeter, and a lock to lock distance of, um, depending where you're measuring, you can see that if, for instance, I'm measuring here, it's something like 48 millimeters from here to here, and if I measure here, um, it's a little bit more. I've been measuring 51 millimeters. So in between 48 and 51, depending where you are measuring. You have a huge crown um, made out of titanium push pieces to start, stop the chronograph, a see-through case a button uh, with a um, Rotor that is also colored in blue, so the winding rotor features the Senate star and is also colored in blue. Um, what else can I show you? The watch is waterproof to 100 meter. Once again, the view from the side with the Senate star also being featured on the huge winding crown, and then when you Turn a watch, you come back on this spectacular open worked dial of the watch. Here's the reflections of my lights. And then we are back on the dial. And if I go back, you can see you come back and you go, you see again the winding rotor um, in blue, colored in blue, as parts of the main plate of the movement. What do we see on the dial? We have the running second at position of nine o'clock. That's the running second of the movement. At position 12 o'clock, there is a power reserve indication 
for the chronograph. So the chronograph has its own power source and needs uh, to be uh, wound through the crown separately. So there are two positions when you are winding the watch. In one direction you will wind the movement, the escapement here, and in the other direction you will wind the barrel for the chronograph. This is the power reserve indication. Then what do we have? A, a 60 second counter positioned at six o'clock. This is the 60 second counter and this is a 30 minute counter positioned at three o'clock. So when um, you want to do some readings from the chronograph, you can stop it of course. And uh, you will now, since the chronograph has been running already um, uh, for a couple of minutes before I started the video, you would probably see here that this is the minute counter that we have been reached. Uh, we reached 14 minutes. Um, then we reached 15 seconds and 2900. On the Reho, you can see a calibrated scale from 0 to 100 and this there is written 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100 and this is due to that you can read the elapsed 100 of a second. So we stopped the chronograph at the position of 29 so it's 2900. Yeah. It's possible to me make any measurements um, with that chronograph uh, in the position of one hundredth of a second. If this is useful or if this uh, has any practical use, um, we could discuss because I expect that you have more delay when you see an event until your brain gives you the information and transfers all the information to the um, yeah, to your um, finger and the finger then pushes on the push piece and then you have a little delay when you push on the push piece until the chronograph effectively starts and you will probably already lose some, well, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 hundreds of a second until you realize that the event uh, started. But in theory, it is possible. And it is also cool. It's, I'm not going to discuss is this useful or is it not useful. It's cool. It's absolutely cool because it is a chronograph and uh, Zenit is the only brand doing such things. They were um, the first one to do the one tenth of the second and so why not uh, pushing limits a little bit further and now having a watch that is really measuring the one hundredths of a second. Are you interested in the Swiss watch industry? Check out Von Tobel's latest Swiss watch industry outlook on fontobel.com slash watches. I've just been talking about the need of uh, winding two barrels because uh, the watch has its own barrel, the running time has its own barrel and the chronograph, the 100th of a second has its own uh, uh, barrel. So you see now since the chronograph was running for a while that the power reserve indication has reached, uh, let's say two thirds. And now you will see um, when I turn the crown in this direction, I'm winding the movement. There is no power reserve indication for the movement. So you're just winding it. This is, let's say, a more normal haptical feeling. And now if I wind in the other direction, you see that this hand, when I turn in this direction, is moving towards full. Watch carefully. You can see it now. And there it is. Fully wound and you have a security once you reached the point that you will clearly get an haptical response from the movement telling you, okay, fully wound, stop. Then ready to go again to make any measurements and readings if you want uh, from the chronograph. You can stop the chronograph once and reset to zero so you can clearly see 
Um, the 30 minute counter got back to its zero position. The second counter got back to its zero position as well as the central second hand. And still swiping over the dial is the running second. And now let's start again and whoop, look, it's incredible. Imagine you want to make any measurements and how long your reaction would be until you get the ooh. I don't know, I have no idea. It would be interesting to see um, and to measure um, yeah, how uh, much of a delay your brain and uh, yeah, your brain has until the information gets to the tip of your finger and you push. <laughs> it would be interesting. Okay, let me show you the watch from the side. As I said already, it is micro-blasted titanium, a micro-blasted titanium case, looking gorgeous, absorbing all the light, almost no reflections, a really perfect combination. I like this black rubber with ultra blue Cordura effect and a micro-blasted titanium double folding clasp. I, I, this is so beautiful. Look. Here comes the folding clasp with the Celestar star once again. This is a beautiful blue that will fit perfectly to all kind of ah, jeans and yeah, yeah, etc, etc. Looking gorgeous. That's a watch you wear for fun, a watch you buy for fun. It's a watch you just want to possess. And it's so cool to just start the chronograph and watch that central second hand swiping at the at such an incredible speed over the dial and making one turn in one second that's incredible i can't get enough of watching that dial even while filming and now talking to you i'm still staring at the dial enjoying the fun of it and this is simply cool it's a very very nice watch i have to say zenit well done I also want to quickly show you the folding clasp. So you have two push uh, pieces, uh, double protection, then we'll open up. This is how it looks like. Let me just pull it here. Yes, you see. And uh, once you uh, know uh, which holes uh, fit uh, to the size of uh, your wrist, uh, you just go in there. You press here and you press there and that's all you have to do and then it's closing you hear you clearly hear the click and this is it nice watch what I would have liked to see here is the little escapement 360,000 semi oscillations semi oscillations per hour 360,000 semi oscillations per hour it's an incredible speed, 50 hertz. And this escapement is a little bit, yeah, um, covered through the winding rotor sometimes, or let's call it too often. I would have liked to have maybe a, a little magnifying lens here, a little cyclope on it. So it would magnify this. I was uh, taking a magnifying lens first and watched it it's incredible to see, you can't see, it's, it's just cool to look at it. And then it could have put a little yeah, extra magnifying little part uh, on, the, on the sapphire crystal to magnify this incredible escape. What you see here, uh, yeah, I can show it here. This is the regular escapement, five hertz. Uh, 36,000 semi oscillations per hour, but this is incredible. Yep, nicely done also from this side, rubber, yup. And once again, let me put it to the picture and watch, it's so cool, I love it, I love it. Look, yum, yum, and again, it's crazy. We, are, we have not been cheating here by, um, yeah, Speeding up the video. No, no, this is real. It's a real chronograph. Um, yeah. One hundredth of a second. There we go. What would we read? Four minutes, 38 seconds and 84 hundredths of a second. You can read it. It's there. <laughs> the graduation. There is a scale, calibrated scale. The graduation is there. And by the way, talking about precision, the movement, the 5 hertz movement is chronometer certified, but not 
the chronograph. The movement is chronometer, officially Swiss chronometer certified. I think you figured it out already that this uh, sapphire crystal has an anti-reflective treatment on both sides. Yes, otherwise we wouldn't have such beautiful pictures or you wouldn't have such beautiful pictures on your screen. And now um, be prepared for the dark shot. Uh, there is super luminova, yes, on the hands and on the indexes. And I will show you how the watch looks like in darkness. There we go. This is how the Zenit looks like in darkness, yeah. Clearly visible, the hour hand, the minute hand, and the indexes, so readability is good, and uh, yeah, but no way to read the one hundredth of a second under these conditions, <laughs> of course not. Look how this 44mm, 15.2mm thick watch uh, perfectly fits on my wrist. Ah, oh, beautiful. I fell in love with the watch. I have to be... Uh, honest, I really fell in love with that uh, D521 Ultra Blue. All of you knowing me, yes, blue is involved, so the watch has already some advantages, but no, I'm joking. The watch simply is, yeah, it's cool. It's a cool watch. 109 grams, by the way, I think I didn't mention this before, so really 109 grams on your wrists are... Yeah, you don't feel the watch, it looks good, it's a sporty watch, it's a, it's a spectacular watch on top and it is something really special you won't get anywhere else than at Zenit. 13,100 euro including 20% VAT here in Austria, that's the price uh, of the D521 Ultra Blue as you have seen it in the video. Yeah, it's a price, um, that's not a bargain, um, true, but uh, end of the day you get something, let's, let's say with a USB, unique uh, selling, yeah, that's, that's spectacular, let's name it, it's really um, a USB, no other watch, uh, any, just maybe uh, in, the, in the Zenit family, but no other watch company offers Measuring the one hundredth of a second, um, yeah, open work dial, 100 meter waterproof, yeah, yeah, microblasted titanium, and so on and so on. A cool watch. So in, if you're looking for that one particular chronograph that is, let's say, um, yeah, standing out, giving you that individual difference to many, many other chronographs, that's the one to have. If you like blue, if you like that contrast in between that ah, gray and blue, yeah, the, the most featured colors now these days, blue and gray, yeah, there's some green, there's some, some, there are some other colors, but this particular matte gray and that combination with that jeans color blue, some blue elements on the open work dial, beautiful. Okay, um, now please, let me know what you think. One hundredth of a second, especially what do you think? How much is the, the delay to the measurement or um, to, to yeah, reset the watch and you're watching an event and uh, yeah, you're listening to the sound uh, of a start uh, pistol and uh, a gun and then boom, and then you press. How, how long do you think would be uh, the delay in between your eyes see, your brain um, yeah, takes care of the information, transmits the impulse <laughs> to your fingertip and you tip on the start stop piece. What would be uh, your guess of uh, delay? Um, it will be interesting to uh, read your comments also about the watch itself. Uh, one last time from the side with the Zenit Star. Ah, I fell in love with it. It's a nice one. The watch is um, out there already. It's available um, since uh, these days in uh, the retail network of Zenit. Um, here, one last look to the winding rotor on the back. 
and I'm looking forward to read your comments. Uh, yeah, stay safe and sound and uh, see you back here on the channel on Watch Advisor very soon. Bye bye for now. Hey, have you packed your luggage? If not, do so. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. You will get the chance to win your exclusive trip to Switzerland.